From the Oklahoma Video Studio, I'm Dave Morris. Happy to be joined by Ed Allen. He is president of the Oklahoma City American Federation of Teachers. Sir, thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Glad to be here. It is Tuesday afternoon as we tape this, but on Monday night you attended a school board meeting uh, where a district employee told board members that teachers are leaving the district not because of pay so much, but more widespread verbal and physical abuse from students. What did you hear last night and what can you tell us? Well, um, I heard a story that I hear uh, quite often. It was a story of a, a teacher who was trying to uh, help with a fight and um, the teacher herself ended up getting quite a few bruises um, because of punches thrown and, um, and kicks uh, um, on her body. So it, that was not an unusual story for me to hear. Well, you mentioned this is not the first time you've heard this. From what you've heard and from what you've seen or perhaps researched, how widespread is this problem? Well, it's, it's out there quite a bit. More, we don't hear about it a lot for a couple of reasons. One is that many teachers are afraid to go very far with it, uh, um, particularly in the elementary uh, schools, um, because oftentimes it's turned around on the teacher. Why can't you control that particular student? It must be your fault uh, for doing um, that. But I would suspect between 25% to 50% of our teachers have this year have had at least one either um, verbal assault or physical assault this year. You mentioned elementary. Does this range from K through 12 all the way? It goes um, all the way and I, I think part of it could be a little bit of a public perception problem. We hear sometimes, what do you mean you can't control a kindergarten um, student? Um, and I think people are just uh, maybe unaware that they're unaware about the types of students that are, um, th I shouldn't say types of students, the, the students that come to us with the, the different issues that they, that they have. I could see that possibly being a, a gray area of kids just being kids, kids with a lot of energy, you know, just wanting to act up around other kids, well, but, yeah, but it crosses yeah. that line from what you're seeing. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm not really talking about kids will be kids. Uh, uh, sometimes um, they may accidentally in some kind of action, you know, hit a teacher. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a student making a, a decision to strike a teacher. Um, and when that happens, there should be, uh, that's a line that can't be crossed. And, and I don't care what the student says or what the parent says or what an administrator says, is, oh, we've got to cut a break um, for this student. There should be no breaks. That everyone needs to see that this is something serious happens to you when you strike a teacher. How did we get here? How did it get to this point? Well, it's, you know, this didn't happen overnight. Um, and unfortunately, my experience, 22 years with the union, um, is that administrators really don't want to um, talk about this issue. Uh, they will give it lip service. Um, as an example, about three weeks ago, I wrote an email to the superintendent uh, expressing my concern um, that uh, the new discipline plan will revert, will put it all in the teacher's lap you know, you will solve as a teacher all the discipline problems. Um, and as of this date, I still don't have a response. Talking with Ed Allen, he is president of the Oklahoma City American Federation of Teachers. Um, and that represents about 2,700 teachers Quite in the few. Oklahoma City uh, School District. You kind of led into my next question here. The district has proposed some solutions to discipline problems. Is it enough? Well, I, I'm not denying that we need to look at our, at our uh, uh, discipline plan. We probably do do too many suspensions. Uh, my point is this, that some students cannot function in the, re in the regular classroom. Uh, instead of leaving those students in the regular classroom, they need to be in another classroom. Maybe not suspension. Um, uh, if you're verbally abusive uh, to a teacher over and over and over again, you need to be somewhere else. If you ask a parent, uh, do you want another student to prevent your child from receiving a proper education? The answer will be no, that should not take place. And if we expect our teachers 
to be able to handle and be some kind of master psychologist for every student that comes through the door um, that is an unrealistic expectation. From what you've heard and perhaps from your experience, any other solutions that you would throw out there? Well, I think we need more alternative um, uh, settings, uh, alternative classrooms. And from my uh, way of thinking, it's an easy in. If you're misbehaving, we're going to quickly send you to another classroom. We're not going to suspend you. We're going to still give you uh, an education. And it'll be a quick out if you can turn things around. If you can't turn things around, why would you want to put that disruptive student back into the regular setting? Makes no sense. But our fear is that's really what the superintendent uh, wants to happen. Is there a resource issue involved with this? Sure, it's uh, expensive and, and lots of people don't want to spend additional money dealing with certain um, students. But if, let me just put it this way. People want safe and orderly schools. And I would maintain that the, the teachers are leaving this district. The number one reason is that we do not have safe and orderly schools. And the reason parents pursue other options for their children's education is their perception that many of our schools are not safe and orderly. And that perception would be correct. He's Ed Allen. As I mentioned, President of Oklahoma City uh, American Federation of Teachers. Sir, thank you for your time today. Welcome. We appreciate it. This is a story our Tim Willard with The Oklahoman is covering. More coverage from Tim can be found online at newsok.com and in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman.